This is uh, American foods that are banned in other countries. Full disclosure, I am American. Most Americans want to believe that the United States is the gold standard of clean food. Oh, but yeah. That's... that belief may not hold up to scrutiny. From unsanitary practices and mass production to the Did you see that chemicals. McRib? Hold on. Hold up to oh, baby. Look at that McRib right there. Look at that. Look at all that barbecue sauce. That right there is a thing of... Oh, look, look, look. M. Rib. You can't tell me that that's not the gold standard. What are we even talking about? If, if the McRib is not the gold standard for food, then what's this whole thing about? Give me a break. Scrutiny. From unsanitary practices and mass production to the addition of dangerous chemicals, countries have good reason <laughs> to give the side eye to imported foods claiming to be USDA approved. That's right. This oh, week we're talking Swiss about cake American rolls. foods that have been banned by other Swiss countries. Swiss cake. But before we get started, be sure to subscribe to the Weird History Food channel. Then Go leave subscribe, a comment everybody. and tell us what other world food facts you would like to know more about. Oh, now gosh. let's see how wrong oh, the yeah, rest yeah, of the yeah, world yeah, yeah. really is. Oh, trust me. Skittles fire. Since the dawn of Skittles. The okay. Huge, huge Skittles hack right here. Take the purple bag. Take the blue bag. Mix them. Coalesce them. Fire. Fire. Then just start grabbing, eating. Fire. Also, fun fact about Skittles that I bet you did not know. All Skittles flavors are exactly the same. If you bite it open, what's it going to be? It's going to be that little white piece of chewy sugar. However... They are coated with different colors and scents. And it tricks your brain into thinking that you are eating a different flavor when in all reality it's the same amount of same amount of sugar, but your nose going across you smell it, go across your palate, is a different smell. And so you think you're tasting something different when in all actuality you are not. There have been rumors about the dangers of eating them. Every one of us heard at least one classmate claim that the red ones mm. make you sterile mm. and the yellow ones oh, I've never they give heard you that. cancer. Turns out oh. it might be worse than that. First oh, of all, your classmate wasn't wrong. The dyes known as Look. yellow five and yellow six have Look. been linked to hives and hyperactivity in children. Bro, Sweden that's just Norway sugar. Have banned what do the you candies mean? out of concern. The European Union will most likely be banning skills. It's just at all the end sugar. Year, what do you mean? Having already swapped or out fake some sugar. of the dye for more natural flavors. The power this of suggestion. This is because of something called titanium dioxide, which can mm. be found making the colors pop across the rainbow. Mm. Research linked titanium dioxide to damaged DNA, which can lead to cancer. While Europe okay. may be ahead of the Skittles awareness curve, America is quickly catching up. In May of 2021, the Environmental Working Group asked the FDA to categorize titanium dioxide as toxic. And yes, before you ask, right now the FDA says it's okay to consume some of that chemical compound. You can taste the rainbow, but just in moderation. California is home to an ongoing lawsuit against Mars Inc., That's the true. company of Skittles. The lawsuit claims Skittles are not only toxic, but are unfit for human consumption. So Give me a break. Now, play it safe. Just There's so like all of it's instead. unfit, bro. What are we talking about? Oh, not br bro. First Skittles, then bread. Never looked at a piece of crusty French baguette, be it in cartoon or in real life. Yes. But let's be honest, it was probably in the hands of Pepe Le Pew. And yes. think, I How can't make a you? sandwich with that. As great as we talk about the invention of sliced bread, a lot of European countries have actually banned much of what you'd find on America's wide, wide grocer shelves. Bro, could you That's imagine we make living a lot of our in bread, Europe? Not just with grain, but with a variety of snack packs worth of additives, like azodicarbonamide. Sounds example, good. Which helps bleach flour and strengthen dough. Fun fact about azodicarbonamide. Well, why do you want weak dough? Also used in a spectrum of industrial products, including yoga mats. 
Mm, doing dogs. doing yoga. The European <laughs> Union is really Yo, the idea what? That citizens eating yoga mat material and has banned their use in food products. Mm. This is actually true. When I lived in Australia for uh, three years, I I distinctly remember my first week living there. I went to the grocery store, and all I could afford was bread and cheese and like butter and like the eggs, the bare essentials. And I remember I got a loaf of sliced bread. I took it home. You know, I put it in my pantry, put the milk in the fridge, whatever, whatever. Under a week. So I got it on a Monday. By Saturday, my loaf of bread was moldy. And I was like, what on earth is going on? And I looked at the Best Buy day and, and I was so confused. And then... After asking some questions and learning a little bit more, I realized, oh, they don't put preservatives in their bread. They don't have all the chemicals that keep it longer. So it's just bread. It's just bread. Imagine that. So from that day forward, I just started putting it in the fridge. Problem solved. Pork, the other white meat, is a staple of American meats, along oh, with chicken, dude. fish, and beef. Pulled pork sandwich. From bacon to ham, bacon, hot dogs to pork chops. Hot dogs. American meat eaters consume Not a big fan about of pork 67 chops. pounds of pig per person every year. Sue Bro, I'm at a, I'm a, over triple in. digits. Don't get us wrong. Other nations indulge in swine just as much, if not more, than Americans. Oh, so yeah, dude. US when I went to Brazil, we were eating steak every day. They just eat it like it's like a, f a freaking cr a cracker, man. They just scores of succulent bacon-bearing boars. They, well, it turns they stand out America no chance adds a in lot of countries. chemicals during processing. Ractopamine, in particular, mm, is used in many good. pig farms to raise porkier porkers. Ractopamine, which we put a dash of in a lot of foods, larger has been and leaner, and in 160 countries. So I like my women. Consider the drug unsafe for Sorry. human consumption. Joke. This, in turn, has Dumb led joke. to a prohibition of pork exports across the world. The EU hasn't touched the stuff since outlawing ractopamine in 2009. China and Russia mm. have been ractopamine oh, less since 2013. Yo, Maybe that's because so ractopamine dirty. has the same effects as an intoxicant on humans and can cause tachycardia headaches, and muscle spasms if consumed in large enough quantities. But it is a small price to Ooh. pay for a perfect piece of the pork. I'm not I'm not big on pork chops, chat. I'm just going to be honest with you. I, I do. Hygiene in America I mess often with the comes down to dousing and... stuff in a chlorine bath and calling it FDA approved. Now, now chicken. And chicken is no exception. <sighs> Pathogen reduction treatments, or mm. PRTs, refer to the use of different chemicals to destroy harmful microbes on raw meat. Well, that's Somewhere good. along the line, American food regulators decided a quick chlorine shock was the best way to kill salmonella and other bacteria on uncooked poultry. Oh, like mm -hmm. in a pool. Mm -hmm. Chlorine marinade. And look, it's not that the EU is against taking a long gulp from the public pool now and yeah, then. Yeah, wow. In fact, the <laughs> risks posed by chlorine consumption are relatively low. Mm. The bigger concern that's is good. that the chlorine baths are just an eye-burning band-aid on a larger problem. The tip of the beak, so to speak. They're worried that the PRTs are insufficient to deal with more than just the normal bacteria. Wait, so what does the chlorine do? Does anyone know? Because we cook the dang thing, does the chlorine make it last longer? Or does the chlorine make it so that it's actually cookable? Like, cooking it normally, there's so much bacteria that cooking it normally wouldn't even get the job done. Does anyone know? I'm curious what, like... I don't know. I don't know what that means. Yeah. And don't get at a potential contamination from things like low quality feed to unsanitary coops on farms. The EU called the chlorine rinse an easy fix, arguing no chemical rinse will ever remove all bacteria from meat heavily contaminated True. as a result of poor hygiene. That hurts extra to hear it from the French. I don't care about the French. Oh, whoa, whoa. Okay, hold on. Hold on. They better tread real careful. My guess would be the latter. Okay. They better tread real careful here. Real careful. Mountain Dew is the closest any soft drink has come to being fully weaponized. Oh, but baby. did you know in Austria and Norway, the soda is outright banned? That's 
literally never going there in my life. It's because Mountain Dew's signature Chernobyl Radiant Hue comes from Tartrazine, also known as Yellow 5. Oh, yeah. And if your ADHD hasn't kicked in yet, you'll remember that color and number from the skills <laughs> section earlier. It's been like linked to headaches, so hyperactivity, hard. and the desire to be annoying to other people. Ironically, the qualities that make Mountain Dew a soda oh, non gratis in other countries looks. is exactly what the brand oh, promotes. Oh, man, I need a do. Do the do. Do the do, Baja baby. Blast. Oh, baby. Ooh, hoo. Let's and go. while you might be able to find Mountain Dew in Europe, it's going to hit a little different. That's because Europe spent exactly two... That's also true. The Mountain Dew... Uh, so when I lived in Australia, the Mountain Dew there definitely tasted quite a bit different. Um, it wasn't bad, wasn't great, and I think they used the European, the European uh, recipe. Two years in play the seven 90s, days. The I'm down. Before discontinuing it. So what on is Game being Pass? sold as Mountain Dew in the EU as a recipe closer to the original carbonated beverage, as created by Tennessee beverage bottlers Barney and Ollie. Yeah, Barney real sugar. In the 1940s. What they put in it. The original Mountain Dew was meant as a whiskey mixer, with a name coming from the affectionate Scottish term for moonshine. It'll tickle your innards, is what the old ads used to read. Huh? No lies detected here. Yahoo! Mountain Dew! <laughs> Oh, man. They're going after everybody. Little Debbie has been providing Americans with comfort snack food since the 1960s with their variety of zebra cakes, zebra star, cakes, punches, star bars, crunch, fudge rounds, eh, and cosmic eh. brownies. Cosmic but brownies their big claim to fame, as anyone who has ever had their lunch packed by a parent can attest, is the Little Debbie Swiss, Swiss rolls, cake rolls. A mixture of rich Shut chocolate up. cake and Front butter creamy are filling. So Freaking Over 900 good. million cartons of Little mm. Debbie products are shipped each year, but mm. none of those cartons go anywhere near Oat Austria milk cream or pies. Norway. Blame those rascally additives, Yellow 5 and Red 4. Two countries in the Swiss history of the world, though. Milligrams of dye per product. I and mean, what are we talking about here? They've been shown to have an adverse effect on children. And we're not just talking about causing hyperactivity. Although one study found that cutting all artificial food coloring from diets may be one half as effective as prescribing kids Ritalin. And while we can't prove there's a direct connection between artificial okay. food coloring and cancer, they do cause damage to white blood cells, causing them to mutate after only three hours. Look, Exposure to these dyes could... If you eat nothing but Little Debbie snacks, McDonald's, drink Mountain Dew, you're going to be in for a rough ride. It's all it's going to be a tasty one, but it's going to be rough and it's going to destroy your body. OK, this is this is this is a no brainer. Let's just do it all in. What's the word? Moderation. OK, like you can't you can't be pounding these every day. You just can't. It's going to it's going to destroy you. But do you, when you want a little little Debbie snack, don't be scared. Cause tumor cells to multiply way more rapidly. For that reason, researchers say a high chronic intake of food colorings throughout the oh, entire yes. life is Christmas not Christmas tree cakes? If only they weren't Fire. so delicious. Surprisingly, you can buy Little Debbie's Swiss rolls in the EU, but they come with warning labels advising parents of the potential dangers to e kids. Wait, is Humans that? Like cigarettes. Is that a real label? That's crazy. Ooh, Special K. I'm here for Special K slander. breakfast cereal, you're probably imagining one of the countless kid-focused brands of sugary morsels, like the oh-so-delicious Cookie Crisp. So you might be surprised to learn that it's actually Special K, the most boring cereal on all of the earth, that has been banned in Denmark and discouraged in the EU. How does the healthiest box of flakes on the shelf get banned? while stuff like Reese's Puffs and Cinnamon Toast Crunch continue to enjoy free passage. Ironically, because of its supposed health benefits. In the UK, Special K has been put on blast by the Advertising Standards Authority for exaggerating how much folic acid they pack into portions. Mm. Though it's still legal to buy in Europe, Denmark has completely banned Special K since 2004 for all its fortified vitamins. I'm starting to pick up on a little trend here. Like, Denmark... They just don't have any good food. They're just like, ah, we're just going to ban it all. They got a bone to pick. It's not all these other countries and then, like, USA is the only one doing it. It's like, no, the, 
these little countries are in the minority, dude. And minerals. Regulators argue that Kellogg's cereal's unnaturally high levels of everything from vitamin A to zinc actually qualify Special K as a genetically modified organism, or GMO. More specifically, Special K is swole with the same artificial compounds that studies have shown to potentially pose health risks, specifically mm. to children and pregnant women. In conclusion, you may want to stick with Crunch Bear. I don't eat. I don't eat Special K anyways. Here we go. You don't need to take a transcontinental flight to visit countries that have banned American foods. Just drive up to the Canadian border, flash no your passport, about Canada. and sign an affidavit saying you're not smuggling any steak tartare in your trunk. Today, consuming raw meat has fallen out of fashion in the U.S., much like other foods like yeah, veal and not pate, a big fan. which don't make you sick but might make you sad. But while baby cow and overstuffed goose liver is illegal in parts of America now, tartare yeah. is not. See, goose while liver. veal and pate may be uncool, they are also served hot. Unlike tartare, which is chopped up cold Not meat straight from the cow. Undercooked or raw foods can lead to an increase in food poisoning and parasitic infections. Yeah, I'm not big on that. Poultry. But considering how fancy pants steak tartare is, titanic food one might say, you'd think countries might look the other way and let the luxury delicacy slide. And for a long time they did. In Canada, meat has to reach an internal temperature of 145 degrees Fahrenheit, the equivalent of a medium rare steak, in order to be considered safe to serve, but those rules aren't strictly enforced. That is until I know recently. That. You can't in get a rare steak. In 2021, restaurant owners in New Brunswick selling steak tartare were all served cease and desist letters. Canadian public health officials That's have decided crazy. that amid the ongoing health crisis of COVID-19, the last thing their citizens needed was a side order of botulism. Oh baby. Going after the big Is boys. Is there anything more American than Coca-Cola? The fizz, the flavor, the mm. former secret ingredient, cocaine. Mm. Coke mm. is basically apple pie in beverage form. And it's not just Americans who are a cuckoo for Coke. Invented by a pharmacist in 1886 Georgia, Coca-Cola quickly caught on overseas. It was the World War II GI's drink of choice. Pre-pandemic, Coca-Cola had 500 brands in over 200 countries, making it the best-selling soft drink and one of the most recognizable brands of all time. True. But there will always be exceptions. And unlike the other entries on the list, can't stand the steak it if it's nothing to do with health concerns. There's any pink grosses me Everybody out. Knows yeah. That Coke Katie's is the same way. For you. We just decided I'm a medium rare guy through and through. Care. No, the countries that have outlawed the brand have done so because of what it represents, a symbol of the encroachment of American capitalism. From 1962 to 2011, the U.S. banned sales of Coke to Burma as part of sanctions against the military yeah. that ruled the country until 2011. Yo, Yo really I love that. It's like, hey, we don't like what you're doing. Honestly, that might solve a lot of the problems going on right now. Just be like, yo, Russia... No more Coke. No more Mountain Dew. That's it. Sales in the country in 2012. Today, Coca-Cola is only unavailable in two countries with long-term trade embargoes with the U.S. North, North Korea, Korea hasn't allowed Coke it since 1950. Easy. And the bubbly beverage has been banned in Cuba say Cuba. Fidel yeah, Castro yeah, 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 seized yeah. supplies in 1962. Oh, First, man, those prequels, poor people. Now Coke. Is there anything <laughs> that can't be ruined by the federalization of trade taxation? Well, of the Detroit of irony and uh, lime, Cuba was actually one of the first bottlers of the beverage outside of America. Hmm. Today, Cuba Cola has replaced Coke as the country's soft drink of choice, though Whoa. black market sales abound. After all, it is the birthplace of the Cuba Libra, aka the rum and coke. Cuba Cola. Not M and M's. M &M's. I'm not really a big M and M guy, to be honest. Mouth, not in your hand. Snacks were I mean, I'll eat them, but uh, the I'm not a big chocolate person. Mars and Hershey dynasties in 1941. Like Coca-Cola, M and M's gained international fans during. They the were World big War during II. the war. As yeah, American yeah, yeah, soldiers yeah. popularized the candy overseas, they don't melt the in your pocket. That won't get your trigger finger all sticky. But you won't find the candy in Sweden where it's banned due to a trademark conflict with a popular national candy that also features lowercase m's as its signature. What? When Mars introduced the candy to Sweden <coughs> in 2009, a court ruled its marketing too similar to that of the Norwegian Marabou's, which resemble Kit Kats. 
During World War One, Marabou had moved its manufacturing to its Swedish. Oh, Marabou was where it received first. Received a royal warrant of appointment by the King of Sweden. And here we thought the Swiss were the chocolate snobs. Should you want to check huh. out what the fuss is all about, Marabou's is sold in IKEA stores here in the U.S. Well, at least it's good to know that M and M's don't try that. harmful dyes or chlorine residue, right? That's a pretty important victory for hard-shelled chocolate. So what do you think? Which of these banned foods sounds the most delicious? Mm. Let us know in the comments below. And while you're at it, check out some of these other videos from Weird History Food. Dude, I'm so glad I live in America. Holy crap. Could you imagine <clears throat> living somewhere else?